hello there. I have this great project and I just wanted to share with you. I'm starting the prep on this and that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. It's not too exciting, but this will be our project for the week, okay? So you can see I picked some colors here. Um, these are the choices that I'm going to possibly do on this purse, okay? So let me show you what I've got here. This is a Michael Kors purse, okay, that has seen its better day. Um, it's been used well. <laughs> and um, this side's not too bad. The other side definitely shows more wear and tear. But I thought this would be great to pull out and um, give it some new character, okay? So I've noticed that We've got a string here. We're going to cut that off. Okay, that made it better already. Um, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and go for this, okay? I was thinking that one of my tray, okay? You guys know that I don't always think out my projects 100% before I decide let's just go play tonight, okay? And I was thinking just to give this a little bit more stability. I could put that tray in there. Okay, so that's just one of my serving trays that I shoved inside there. <laughs> um, because that'll help. That'll help with even all of the um, handles, okay? So I was thinking I probably should go ahead and tape my handle off too because it's otherwise going to possibly get sticky. So let's see if we've got tape around here. And we do. Uh, let's see, who all do we have on here? Kathy, Diana, Donna, Tessa Ray, thank you for joining. Maddie, Maddie's been spending some time with me because Maddie was in the painting group watching earlier, okay? I sure hope you enjoyed. Um, you were awfully quiet. <laughs> but sometimes we just like to hang out. Oh, that's going to work great, you guys, okay? That'll keep, um, that'll keep it off. Uh, even the bag as I do this. Okay, so I'm just taping over some of the metal straps here, okay? And I just discovered, okay, that'll keep it off of the bag. Um, so we've had a lot of uh, people interested in doing their fabric, doing leather, and doing all kinds of projects. So I thought, you know, um, we might as well just continue to have fun with this. Um, I've got a jean jacket. I've got some more jeans that I want to work on. And um, I thought this would be really super cool. So I did clean down that um, bag with straight vinegar, okay? I didn't want to use anything too harsh on it. I thought about um, using uh, alcohol or denatured alcohol. And I thought, you know what? I think probably the vinegar would be good enough. And I'm only going to be able to do one side at a time anyway. So I figured I'd just go ahead and start tonight the prep of what I'm going to go through to do this. And then um, you all can help me decide, okay? So I can be super conservative and just basically refresh the purse and do um, our matte silver foil, okay? So that would be super conservative. Um, or... I pulled out, you know, my collection of animal prints, all going for the silvers, okay, because we're obviously on a silver bag. I want to do something that's going to complement that color. I don't want to pull away from it. So I was thinking maybe the wild leopard spots or just the cheetah. I thought the cheetah would be super fun. Wouldn't that be a great looking bag, okay? And I did pull out the wild leopard spots small, but this one I think is just going to be too busy, okay? To me, I think that's just a little busy. Um, so I'll let you guys help vote, okay? Um, wild leper spots, small or large, or good old cheetah, okay? We'll just do cheetah silver, or we can be boring, <laughs> boring and conservative, and just do um, the silver, the matte silver, okay? So you all vote. So it's a Michael Kors bag. Um, it could be a real leather. It could be more of a pleather, okay? 
Um, I'm not positive. I didn't buy the bag. The bag was hand-me-down to me. So um, I am going to go ahead and use our regular foil adhesive, okay? So this is our Artsyville Embellishments foil adhesive and an unmarked uh, bucket, okay? But that's what it looks like. It's milky white um, when it's in the container, and it's a milky white when it goes on, but it will dry clear, okay? So I always suggest grabbing some of the material, putting it out on a foam plate or something that you can work from. That way you can pull out as much as you need or think you need for your project and then put your lid back on, okay? Now, I have to say, I'm bad. I don't push the lid all the way back down, okay? And if you are going in and out of the bucket, I'm going to tell you guys a really big secret that you're going to love. Okay, and I don't have a box of it here. It's way over there. Press and seal. So if you're pouring out of here or if by chance the rim is getting kind of sticky because you're in and out of your container a lot, put press and seal on it first and then put your lid back on. And especially if you're in one of like the jars, okay, so like our 10 ounce or our little four ounce jar, um, before you put your lid back on, put press and seal over the container and then screw your lid back on because you won't have problems getting your lid back off, okay? <laughs> uh, the product is super, super sticky, okay? <laughs> Which it needs to be. Um, okay, I just got to see who's all here, you guys. I'm so excited. Uh, shall Cheryl, Cheryl's like cheetah all the way. I love it. Cheetah, cheetah. Okay. Ooh, no boring, please. <laughs> um, okay. Yes, this is great. Well, you guys keep, keep putting in your votes. Okay. I'm thinking cheetah is winning right now. That was kind of my first thought when I went back into the room to go pull the foil, um, was to pull the cheetah. That was exactly what I had in my mind. But when I went into the room, I thought, okay, well, let's check out the matte silver. I don't want to go bright silver because I don't want it that bright of a silver um, purse. Um, but then I saw, you know, the wild leopard spots too. So I thought, oh, well, well maybe, okay. There's just a lot of choices in that room. <laughs> when, you, when you have one of everything, okay, I know this is all your guys' desire at some point to own one of every foil we have. Um, but when you do have that collection, sometimes it's overwhelming to just to choose what you want to do, okay? Um, so, like I said, this is, you know, I'm not positive if it is leather or pleather, but it is a Michael Kors purse. Um, all I did was clean it down with straight vinegar, and I'm just going to apply my foil adhesive, and I'm only doing... Um, one side, okay? So I'm not going to worry about the other side right now. We're just going to do one side. Um, I didn't tape off the hardware, okay, the little metal bracket here. I'm going to zoom in, you guys, so that you can see right what I'm doing, okay? Y'all can chat with me as I work on this, okay? And I'm using an artist brush, and I'm probably going to have to wipe off over the um, metal bracket, okay? And I'm going to try really hard to keep the straps off. But when doing leather, um, we're able to use our regular foil adhesive. You do not have to go into any other adhesives we have. This works great on leather. And if you didn't see the other day, I think I posted it on our page as well as I posted it in our foil everything group the chair that Lori did oh my gosh she did an amazing job on that leather chair okay and I have a chair that we are going to do um, it's one of those chairs we found on the side of the road now and I didn't pick it up my boyfriend did so Dan decided that he thought I needed to have that chair, and I finally decided what we're going to do with it, okay? Um, so it'll be fun. Now, okay, if I get the foil adhesive anywhere, I don't want it. I don't need it, I should say. I'm going to make sure I have a baby wipe out, okay, and clean it off. So... 
baby wipes are great to have around as I'm digging one out, okay? Because if we have any fingernails left, <laughs> we can go in and just clean that up so you don't have to worry about that stickiness later, okay? So I'm going to try to clean it off of a couple spots that I got it on. And then I should be smooth sailing, okay, from here on out. Now, because I'm doing this on a live, you guys realize that your foil adhesive has to dry for at least an hour. But because this is just a live, okay, we're not going to sit around here for an hour while um, this dries, okay? So I will be back tomorrow to finish it up, okay? And I'm going to finish it up with, I'm going to try really hard to go with the winner. So far, you guys are going in the right direction, okay? I kind of felt the same way that some of you have voted, okay? But I want you all to still vote. To tell me your winner, okay? I think you can still see all the foils in the screen, okay? Which one you think I should go for. And um, just paint on your adhesive, okay? This is going to be super, super cool to see this come together, okay? Uh, I think <laughs> almost everybody I know and a lot of our customers are starting to have some wardrobes that have been completely transformed, okay? And in a fun way, okay? Desiree has been um, foiling and painting shoes like crazy. Uh, Lori did that entire recliner, okay? If you haven't seen the picture yet, um, so just scroll down on this page, okay? And I posted it, I think, I thought I just maybe posted it yesterday. It might have been Saturday. Um, but it was Saturday or Sunday, so it shouldn't be too far down on the page that you guys can go check it out. But that was a nice undertaking. I was so impressed, okay? Um, but, you know, somebody had asked, well, how well is it going to wear? And I'm like, well, she saved her her uh, leather chair, okay, if she gets another few more years of use out of it, that will be fabulous, okay. Um, and the foils we're using are textile foils, okay, so they should wear pretty well. Now, not only are we going to put the foil on this, but after I transfer the foil, I'm going to protect it with our final coat. And the reason why I go for the final coat is because it is a flexible uh, top coat so it won't get hard and stiff and it's great for using on any of your um, projects like leather, the boots, shoes, we've done it on hats. Um, we use the final coat a lot because of its ability to stay soft and flexible and not get hard because so many of your top coats have a tendency to get stiff and you don't want anything to get stiff on something like this okay because this bag is gorgeous okay it's soft it's pliable um, we don't want to make it stiff we just want to give it a nice upgrade okay <laughs> oh I know Desiree weren't you just so impressed I mean when she posted and shared that picture with me I'm like oh my gosh girl you <laughs> You really took on a big project. So that was so fabulous to see. Um, I want to say our customers, you guys out there that are watching and doing, you guys are taking on some of the most incredible projects and having so much fun. And I always feel like I'm here to inspire you, but you guys are inspiring me as well, okay? Um, and that's what's so fun about it is because, you know, sometimes we might not think about doing something until somebody else has done it. And it's like, oh, wow, that's just totally awesome. <laughs> so I'm going to do this one side, okay? And I don't want to say that I'm being um, super generous, okay? I'm putting on a nice coat. I'm brushing it out, okay? I don't have anything that's thick, but you don't want to put it on so thin that you don't have um, enough 
product on here to grab the foil, okay? So make sure that you have good coverage, okay? I don't want to say even coverage. You just want good coverage. You don't want to have it on super thin and not have enough um, good tack to transfer uh, when it's dry, okay? So it's milky white looking. It's definitely changed um, the color slightly as I'm putting this on, okay? It's kind of dulling out the silver, um, but it'll go shiny and clear when it dries, and we will wait for that to happen, and I will come and do this tomorrow with all of you, okay? So we're going to shoot for maybe around 4 o'clock tomorrow, between 4 and 4.30. If you want to know when I'm going live, you guys, the best thing to do is at the very top of this video in the description is our text alert. Um, it's like our little texting club, so we kind of will do different special things for the group of people that are in our texting club. And if you want to always know when we are going live, okay, take the time to text that number, the word alert, okay? So alerts or alert. I think we got it every way spelled. Uh, but text that word to that number, okay? That's automatically going to reply to you, and it's going to ask your permission to be in our texting club, okay? So make sure you go through all of the prompts, okay? Don't just text the word and forget about it. You have to respond to get in. But for those of, for those that are in our texting club, um, I text them tonight the direct link to this video so nobody would miss. Uh, no, you didn't miss much. We're just prepping this piece, okay? So this is a, a Michael Kors purse, okay? that kind of saw its better days. Um, it was handed down to me by a girlfriend. And I am going to revive it and give it new life with one of our foils, OK? So I'm going to open my screen back. See, Donna got the text alert. Yay! Thank you, Donna, for being part of that. So isn't it nice to um, just get a quick little text and go, oh, Jen's live. Let's go watch, OK? Um, you never know what I'm going to be doing on here. So it could be super, super fun that you don't want to miss. But can you guys start thinking about your wardrobe, okay? Your purse, some of your old shoes that just need a little facelift. Um, you've seen us doing the jeans and shorts. I've got another jean jacket that we're going to do something fun on probably next week. This is this week's project because this is going to take a couple of days to get this completely done. Um, but this is going to be a super fun project, okay? So I hope that you guys will tune back in tomorrow. Um, like I said, get on the text alerts club, okay? And that way you'll know when I'm live and when we're going to be working on this, okay? Because it'll be sometime between 4 and 5 tomorrow. <laughs> but I can't guarantee what time at this point. <laughs> um, um, so basically clean your surface, let it dry, okay? And then put your foil adhesive on. And I'm going to say the longer you let the foil adhesive dry, probably the better. Okay, just so that you know it's completely dry. Um, it has bonded well to the surface as well. Okay, um, and we're pretty much ready to go. So I know I let you guys vote last night on which foil to use. And most of you did pick Cheetah, okay. Um, but definitely my heart was all over Cheetah because it really was my first choice. <laughs> Sometimes you think, oh, maybe, maybe not. Okay, let me get my scissors out here. Let's see. And hopefully nobody else is, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to cut off a piece. And I've really thought about this, okay? I think I'm going to go straight down the center. Let's make sure. Did I cut that long enough? Ooh, that's pretty, that's not long enough. I might use that on the sides, okay? Um, I want to make sure I got a piece long enough to go top to bottom with a little spare, okay? Because I don't like, I don't like having things so close, okay? And 
realize when you're doing anything with foils, whether you're working on a piece of furniture, you're working on fabric, you're going to foil your walls, whatever, there's what we call salvage, meaning you're not going to be able to use every square inch of the foil. There's always going to be some leftover parts. So always anticipate a little extra foil when you're doing your projects. Okay, don't, if you need 15 square feet, don't buy just 15 feet. Buy a little bit more, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to crinkle it just for the fact that when I do that, um, it will now stay flat, okay? It won't curl up on me like it would um, if I didn't do that. So this is not always advisable for all foils, especially the v mass collection, and especially weathered copper. Don't ever do this to weathered copper. If you do, it's going to be like gold leaf and or patina leaf all over your floor and everywhere else, okay? Some of the foils just don't crinkle well because their release is so easy it will fall off, okay? So be careful with that. Um, okay, Sherry's good. Okay, awesome. Okay, so I'm going to lay this down. Did I get up there high enough? I did, okay. Um, and because it is a purse that has a shape to it, okay, we're going to just try and get it to bend over the bottom. And I'm going to try to maybe not get the sides, okay, so I don't end up with like a straight line, but I thought if I was going to have a line, I'd rather that that seam be over here on the edge, um, and then instead of in the middle or going um, horizontal, okay, so I figured this was kind of like my best option. Um, I know sometimes you guys don't think I think my project's out all the way, and sometimes I don't. Okay, i got to be honest. Sometimes I just grab stuff and go for it. <laughs> Who else does that? Okay, who else just says, oh my gosh, I got this great idea, and let, let's just do it as fast as we can, and we don't think everything out? Um, I'm, I'm, I, am, I have that issue, okay? I, my family, my kids, they all are always telling me like, hey, slow down, mom. Think, let's think this through, okay? <laughs> uh, Linda's saying everything not working properly. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so good evening. Hello, hello. Okay, so um, like I said, I got I put a little thought into it, <laughs> a little, and I'm just going to scrub, okay, I'm going to scrub a little bit up here, and before I scrub the whole purse, I want to peek, okay, and see, oh my gosh, this is going to be so great, okay, I'm going to zoom in, you guys, okay, you can see me no more, um, we're zooming in on the purse, so that you can just see how incredibly gorgeous this is going to be, okay, now, the purse has got a texture, so it's not perfectly smooth, so we might have to do a little bit more scrubbing to get it into as much texture as we can, okay? And I put this, it's just a serving tray, okay? But I wanted to have some kind of a hard surface in there as much as I could um, to give us some kind of... Uh, something hard to just scrub on instead of like being bag on bag, okay? Um, what was this? Faye says, a lot of time my jump right in projects are my best results. Oh, I love it that I knew. I knew some of you would be right there with me, okay? And, you know, unfortunately sometimes I jump so fast that we do make mistakes, okay? And I don't want to say they're mistakes. Normally, they're happy accidents, learning curves, and um, like you said, um, occasionally they are our best results, okay? <laughs> and yes, sometimes they are a big fail as well, okay? I do, I do have to admit that. Um, I have to admit that I have a pile. I don't have a, such a big pile anymore because I really have... Uh, been cleaning house, uh, but I used to have this huge pile of what we called, 
excuse my French, shipboards, okay? Just meaning we had this great idea, we were trying to figure out a formula or a finish, and it looked really, really good in my brain and my mind's eye, okay? And then I executed it, and it was like, oh, that ain't going to work. <laughs> okay, so the only thing that I'm kind of, I don't want to say disappointed, but it's not getting into all of the texture, okay? So I'm going to work a little bit harder to try to scrub, maybe in like circular motion, trying to get it in every direction and just see if I can get it down in there a little bit better, okay? But, you know, it's still going to be totally awesome and it's going to be a great update, okay? So we're going to have a little distress look. <laughs> Gloria says she's getting a little better at thinking her projects through. <laughs> Um, Del is it Delena? Okay, I have an ostrich textured Dooney. Oh, Dooney and Burke. Oh my gosh, that would look amazing with some foils. Oh, that would be so cool. Woo. Okay, I got you guys. In I'm I'm inspiring you. I think. Okay. Um, I love what I'm looking at that purse, and it looks like the. The one that already have meanings might be a good project trying to figure out. Okay, um, <laughs> I, I'll have to read that one again, okay? Oh, I know. When I got started today, okay, when I was pulling the foil, I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys. I do love my animal prints, obviously. I'm wearing a cheetah shirt as well. So I don't think I could do the shirt and the purse at the same time. I think that's just a little much. But I do sometimes get dressed, and all of a sudden I got like a cheetah belt on. I got some shoes on that have a little bit different cheetah print, and I got a cheetah sweater, and I'm like, okay, girl, you got to stop. <laughs> you can't put all that on at once, okay? Okay, so let's... Let's take a release here and start checking this out. And you guys, I think this is going to look so fabulous, okay? So anywhere, when I'm pulling it back and I see a lot of the metalization still, I'm going to go back and just do a little bit of a circular motion and try to get more into the texture, okay? And I'm not going to worry about it too much. It's just the look that we're going to get um, with the texture of the purse, okay? So realize that if your purse... <laughs> oh, good. I didn't, I didn't hack somebody's name. Hello, Leslie. Oh, great idea. Okay. I, gosh, you guys, I love y'all. Sometimes you just think for me... And I love it when you do. Okay, I'm going to unbury this blow dryer because Sherry just posted, have maybe try some heat. And that is always a great idea, okay? So I tell you guys about this all the time. Foils love heat, okay? Um, so let's give it a little heat and see. Okay, Consita says, you may not have been able to read my last comment, but I was saying I had the exact same purse or bag, whatever you want to call it, and this would be one heck of a project. How much is this foil that you're working with, and how much of it do you get on a roll? Oh, okay, so, <laughs> so you got the same Michael Kors purse. That is a hoot, okay? Um, the foil... If you buy it by the foot, runs three dollars and fifty cents, and I think our twenty, our fifteen foot rolls are around twenty seven dollars. Um, it's definitely cheaper to buy it on the roll than it is by the foot, 
And I was trying to think about that. So once I'm done with this side, I'll figure out exactly how much it took. And then you can determine if you want to buy it by the foot or grab it by the roll. And then just one of the small little jars of foil adhesive, which I think is like $14, um, is all you would need. So it's definitely a lot less investment to give it an upgrade, okay, a refreshed look than it was to buy all the Michael Kors purse in the first place, okay? And I mean, all of our purses, no matter how much money we've spent on them, if it was $50 or $500, they're all going to wear at some point, okay? And who wants to throw it away, okay? My girlfriend couldn't throw it away, so she gave it to me instead. <laughs> And I'll have to say, whew, it kills me to spend that much money on a purse, okay? <laughs> okay. Sherry, let's see if we got a little bit better coverage, okay? we I think we've got about the same all the way down, but I do want to try to pull in a fresh piece in some of these areas where the bend was and just make sure that I get a little bit more coverage there, okay? I know the pattern's not going to match up perfectly, but we're definitely going to give it a try. Okay, and I'm going to double check. I think my postman is here, okay? So I want to go make sure that that's him. Yes, okay. Thank you. Good, bye. Okay. I left you three times. Is that enough? That'll be perfect. Thank you. Okay, guys, that means a whole bunch more um, packages just left, okay? So if you had an order in here, I think we're almost caught up, okay? Which has been the first time in quite a few months that we are caught up on orders. So it's time to order, guys. <laughs> um, so, see, Sherry said maybe around 27. To, okay, yeah, the 15-foot roll is 27. And if you got the full roll and a jar of foil adhesive, you would be at 40 bucks. 40 bucks, $40 investment. And that's definitely more foil than you need. So you could use that foil um, on other projects, plus the foil adhesive. It's going to be more than you need for both things, okay? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cool. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to turn this your way, okay, and I'm going to open my screen a little bit more so that you can see this. Gosh, I really do match it, don't I? <laughs> um, okay, guys, I think that this is going to turn out absolutely fabulous, okay? Like I said, it's kind of a little bit of a distressed. I would be very, very uh, careful about making sure whatever color your purse is, Make sure you get a foil color that's going to complement that, okay? Because it's if you've got texture, you're going to see some of the undercoat, okay? Mary Jo says she has an obsession with purses. <laughs> um, so you go to the outlets. Is that what you said? Okay, I'm moving, trying to move the um, tray, okay, to one side so that I can get this area a little flatter, okay? And we are going to make sure that we have the foil going the same direction. And we're just going to do a little overlap, okay? And squish that down. And get the other side. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so much fun. Oh, I know. You guys, your wardrobes are never going to be the same. I just want you to know that, okay? I apologize right now, but <laughs> I want to do a pair of like, like, I don't want to say boots, not like cowboy boots, like the little booties, okay? The little short boots or a pair of mules. I think would be so great because um, the mules I have right now that have animal print on them, that is what I wear all the time. Okay, I I'm I swear I wear those. I'm going to wear them out, okay? I have a pair of cheetah and I have a pair of zebra. <laughs> and those are my favorite 
all-time shoes. They go with everything, okay? They look great with jeans. They look great with a cute little dress. I mean, they're just fabulous. Okay, I'm just trying to, trying to get a little bit of something hard underneath where I'm scrubbing. And Casita, I'll read that one in just a minute, okay? I'm going to try to get this one corner done. Uh, because once I get this side done, you guys, I'm going to show you how we're going to protect this purse, okay? And give it, hopefully, some pretty good life, okay? Longevity of how long it holds up for us. Oh my gosh, my seam looks pretty darn good, you guys. Look at that. So there's just a little bit of like overlap in there, but nobody would ever know that that was a seam, okay? <laughs> and let's go do the other side. So I am kind of looking at the pattern, trying to make sure that I'm running it the same way and seeing if there is any like repeat that would be close, okay? Okay, it grabs, so I'm just going to go for it. Because the one thing you don't want to do <laughs> is if the foil grabs the surface, okay, it's not a good idea to pull it off because it's going to have already released somewhere. So you're better off just living with it Okay, you guys see that I like a lot of different tools. Okay, I like my toothbrush for tight little areas. Um, I might even get my hand in there if I need to, but so far this is coming out pretty darn good. I just kind of move, move my tray in there, okay? Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is just the coolest, okay? So, Peggy, thanks for joining us, okay? Um, if anybody has any questions, please just pop them in the comments. I'm going to go back and answer a whole bunch after I finish transferring this one part. And then we're going to talk about um, doing our top coat. To protect and seal okay and I'm just checking to make sure that it transferred everywhere okay so where it was creased here I really didn't get a transfer so I'm just going to kind of look for uh, something that's going to kind of match but considering where that is I probably shouldn't have to be too worried about it I just want to make sure I got everything okay I think I did so just to give you guys an idea how much I've used, okay? And I'm not going to guess. I'm going to be pretty precise, okay? Uh, that's 18 inches and another 16 inches. So, um, what, 16 and 18 inches? Okay, you guys, I, I can't do math tonight. It's after 5, okay? <laughs> um but if you were looking at approximately 30 inches on each side, 60 inches, what is that, 5 feet, okay? Um, so you would need probably about 5 feet to do a bag if you just wanted to buy it by the foot. But I'm telling you, by the roll is definitely going to be a cheaper option. Okay, I have got to lift this baby up and... <laughs> Um, and the 34 was generous, okay? So I would say if you had five feet, you could easily do this, okay? Um, I'm going to scroll back a couple of minutes here and just double check to see if I have what all I have missed, okay? Um, okay, so Delena said, I just had an idea for a pair of shoes what would be the best thing to seal them with. Okay, so we're going to talk about that next because I have it here. Okay, so what what kind of fabric are the shoes? Are they leather or pleather? Um, <laughs> you know, everybody's going to want to know where I bought this bag, you guys. I'll guarantee you that. 
Okay, can you see how much I love uh, animal print, you guys? It's even on my Tumblr. Now, I didn't make this. This was made for me by um, one of our customers. So that was just, I mean, I absolutely love it. Um, let's see. Okay, so that Plaz Dip Glossifier, you guys. Okay, I'm going to open up the screen so you can see me talking instead of just see, see, seeing a laptop and my shirt, okay? Um, the Plaz Dip Glossifier is going to be after you put on Final Coat. And only if you feel you need that extra durability, okay, or you need it for, like, being weatherproof. Um, the Final Coat I like so much because it stays flexible, and that is one thing about when you're working on something flexible, like a purse, a pair of boots, shoes, everything you use has to stay flexible. So you don't want to use any kind of a paint or top coat that could get uh, stiff because then it's going to crack and we're not going to like that, okay? Um, so the Plaz Dip Glossifier would be after Final Coat. Um, Oh, Peggy was asking, is that a tiny little baby iron? Uh, no, these are all scrub brushes, okay? They're like fingernail scrub brushes and a toothbrush, okay? So I always use some kind of a stiff plastic bristle normally to uh, scrub. Hello, Desiree. Thanks for joining. Um, let's see. Peggy says, Leopard Cheetah, my favorite prints. I know I'm... I'm and it realized how incredibly I was dressed for this whole event tonight, okay? Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, Donna says, you just made a light bulb come on. I love a light bulb moment, you guys. Um, I have a pair of short booties that are years old. Going to try them. Okay. So one of my customers, I think it was Beverly. Um, she's been a customer forever. Did a pair of loafers. Oh, my gosh. They were absolutely beautiful. I think she did the cheetah and the gold, not the silver. Gosh, those came out so great. And uh, thank you, Leslie, for helping me with my math, okay? <laughs> um, let's see. Desiree has done a ton of shoes, canvas and leather, okay? So if you guys are not on my Facebook page called Foil Everything, it's a group, okay? Go ask to join. Um, there is so much help in there, so much inspiration. The projects are just freaking amazing, okay? Courtney, don't you love my Tumblr? Oh my gosh, Nicole did a beautiful job on that. Um, let's see. Okay, you guys are all talking to each other, okay? <laughs> Adrian, I love it. Say no to crack. <laughs> um, let's see. Kathy, you got to try this. You're going to love it, okay? Um, no, I don't sell the little brushes. I'll tell you, though, um, this one was Dollar Tree. The toothbrush was Dollar Tree. And then somebody told me they got a denture toothbrush because those were stiffer, and that, that works really good as well. So just go to Dollar Tree. You can find those, okay? Um Alexandria, thank you for joining us. I'm glad you're here live too. Oh, Delena, everybody's asking for our cow print and it just does not exist right now, okay? Um, I, am, I am doing some major research and reaching out to one of my manufacturers about if we could create a cow print, okay? Um, so we're going to have to see. But I want you guys to know that... When I custom do a foil, I have to buy 5,000 linear feet. And that's not just 12 inches wide, that's 25 inches wide. That is a lot of foil, girls and boys. So it has to be something that's going to be super popular. Otherwise, I'd be sitting on a lot of cow print foil for a long time. Okay, so we got to see how popular cow print really is. <laughs> um, Let's see. Okay, Desiree posted the link to our Foil Everything group. So if you're not in there, you guys, you want to get in there, okay? Uh, Leslie says she's using the denture brush as well. Okay, I got to go get me one. 
Um, I don't have dentures yet, but I could use a stiff brush around here, okay? <laughs> um, okay, Adrian, um, I used, where's my little jar? Here it is. I used our regular foil adhesive, okay, on leather or pleather, um, also on canvas. So the shoes and the baseball caps, we've been doing regular foil adhesive, okay? But I'm going to go over some prep, okay, in a minute. I just want it to kind of get past here. Um, okay, everybody's in on the cow, okay, you guys. I know it's super, super popular in the Tumblr world right now, okay? And I wish, I wish I could pull a cow print out, okay? Um, but even if we go ahead and go for it, we're looking at six months before we would be actually receiving a new production foil. So we'd have to hope and pray cow print stays uh, popular for a long time. Um, I know us Tumblr makers would buy that cow print in no time. <laughs> okay, I will, I will work on it, you guys, I promise, okay? Um, <laughs> okay, I, I, I know, I'm seeing that this everybody on here is into cow print, you guys, that's awesome. Okay, I think I'm caught up. I know Concita had printed something, okay, I want to go all the way back. She wrote something long, okay? And... Hmm. Okay, I'm not seeing it right now, so I might have to wait until I'm off, but I promise you I will respond. Alexandra, thank you so much for the stars. Okay, my blow dryer is on the way. Let's see. Oh, okay, so Desiree even put her little area in, but I know the girls really don't want to do this, okay? They don't want to have to paint. If you painted your tumbler white, and just paint it on your spots. You can use black foil and create a cow print, but you guys are doing that with other things now. I think they just really want the cow print foil. <laughs> okay, so let's go on to our next move, okay? Once your foil is down, it's time to top coat. You don't have to wait for anything else. You want to top coat this. And like I said, final coat is my go-to and the only one I'm gonna recommend on a flexible surface. So, I'm going to put this on now. Okay, this is what is called a wipe-on varnish. So, it's really designed to use one of our microfiber pads, okay, and just wipe it on. But I'm thinking with all of the different crevices, and let me see if this one's even still good. I never wash them out. I just stick them back in a plastic bag, but I think this one's kind of seen its better day. Um, what's the best way to apply the glue to do lettering? Um, I would say like an adhesive stencil, so like a vinyl stencil, if you wanted to do that, or you, well, it depends. Um, Joanne, are, what are you wanting to do the lettering on? Is it a hard surface like wood, or is it a tumbler, or fabric, okay? Um, there are a couple different ways to answer that. Uh, the final coat is wonderful, you guys. Okay, I cannot, I cannot say enough about it. I've been using it for probably 20 plus years. Okay, so how I put it into the um, the pad, okay, is put it over the the jar, okay, and I'm not pulling them apart, and I just put it upside down. Okay, not a bunch is going to pour into it, okay, but you don't need a bunch, so you can do that a couple of times, okay, just to kind of get your sponge going and you just wipe it on, okay? That is how it's supposed to go on. It's supposed to go on super, super thin. Actually, I think this might work pretty good. I was thinking of going for a brush, but I don't like to go for the brush too much because it gets on probably thicker than we need it to. Um, so that's why I like to do the, uh, the pads, okay? And I think I'm just going to get my hand in here so that I can make this bag the shape it needs to be so I can wipe this on. So final coat goes on super, super thin, you guys, okay? It's like paper thin, and it's designed to go on this thin because it will dry in about 10 minutes. When it's dry, you can go put another coat on and another coat on, and another coat on, okay? So I would say 
for a bag or something that you're going to use a lot, I would probably wipe on about three coats, okay? And if at any point in time I ever saw or felt like the bag was wearing, I could easily just clean the bag up again, wipe it off, make sure there's nothing on it, and apply another coat, a final coat. That easy. So, um, okay, I'm just going to make sure I got everything, okay? And that's another reason why I definitely like to put several coats on, too, is because we could miss a, we could easily miss a spot um, with a project like this as well, okay? So let me make sure I've got full coverage. I'm going to put this aside, and then we're going to talk about pleather. <laughs> because I've got a feeling we probably own more pleather than leather. Okay, so make sure that you do put on several coats. Um, it really does last a long time. We have it in 8 ounce, 16 ounce, and 32 ounce bottles. Okay, it comes in low gloss and semi gloss. Um, I do want to let you know that, oh my gosh, that bag looks so great. Um, <laughs> okay, you guys, you realize I still get tickled, you know, and thrilled when I do projects like this, okay, because I haven't done a purse before, okay? So this is just like, oh my gosh, this is going to be so great. Um, The final coat. What was I saying before I said that? Okay. I looked down at it and went, wow. Um, <laughs> okay. I should lift this up so that you guys can see it better. Um, so I, I do. I still have a, so much fun doing new projects, doing something different. Okay. We're going to be doing a chair. We're going to be doing more clothing. I got another jean jacket. I mean, we're just going to have fun and just keep doing projects. Okay. Uh, but make sure to put several coats of the final coat on. And we have plenty in stock right now, okay? So let me grab, I was like, reach down here because I had no room on the table, okay? Um, to grab my boots. Let's let our bag dry. And I'm trying to decide. I might just do, I was thinking about doing the strap and just the solid silver. But who knows? I still might do even the cheetah on the, the handle as well, okay? That was going to be so much fun. Okay, so these are the boots that I did a while back. I've had them for a long time. Um, let's see. Yes, Selena, that is one thing, okay, um, your boots, okay? I mean, if they started to wear, and so that's why I really wasn't concerned about putting the Plaz Dip Glossifier on top of them, because I figured if they wore a little bit, I could always clean them up and just recoat them. Um, okay, I wanted to get back here. Okay, so Joanne says she wants to personalize ornaments. Okay, probably doing either um, like a one-time use vinyl stencil that you could cut on any kind of vinyl cutter like a Cameo or a Cricut um, is probably the best way to make the word or the name and then you can stencil over that with foil adhesive, okay, um, and then remove the vinyl, and when that foil adhesive is dry, after about an hour, then foil right over the top of it, and that's probably going to be the best way to do an ornament, okay. Um, let's see, okay, I was just catching up here. Oh, that's Stephanie, I love it. <laughs> Yeah, there is no better feeling when it actually goes really well, okay? But I want you guys to know, I do a lot of things here on live that I've never tried before. I mean, I've done so many things over my 30-something years of my career that I got a pretty good idea that it should go okay, but there is time things are going to go sideways. But when they do, um, it doesn't bother me at all, okay? It's a learning experience, a time for me to hopefully teach you guys a way to maybe fix it um, and maybe what went wrong, okay? So it's just a learning experience. Um, I'm getting ready, okay, to teach a workshop. It's going to be a three-day workshop called the Crawford Finish. Um, it is a finish that I have done and taught in my private painting group several times, but I'm doing another version of it, and I've actually installed it in my bathroom. Now, in that workshop, 
everybody is going to learn about a mistake that was made and how it ended up being a happy accident, but it's going to be a great learning curve for everybody in that group to see what happened when something was missed, okay? <laughs> so I'm really good about being very transparent and trying to always help you guys because I think sometimes you learn more from a mistake than you do from everything going perfect. Um, Erica, yes, you could use it on an old leather coat, okay? One of my friends who is a fellow artist, okay, she's been in the business probably as long as I have, did a freaking amazing leather jacket, and it's posted in the group, Foil Everything. So her name is Leslie. Go check it out, okay? You will absolutely be amazed at what she did on that leather jacket. Um, yeah, I'm kind of thinking the solid silver. I want to test it, though, because the silver that came off with the cheetah, I want to make sure I'm matching that same silver. I don't want to introduce a different silver. Um, so if it's not the same silver color, um, I'll probably just go ahead and still do the cheetah on the, the strap as well. Um, yes, you could use the semi-gloss or the low-gloss. It just depends on the sheen you personally want. Oh, and that's what I was going to tell you guys. With every layer of final coat that you apply, layer after layer after layer, it will get slightly glossier with each layer. So even the low gloss will start to get a little bit more sheen with numerous layers. Now, we have used this uh, final coat on furniture as well. And when I'm doing furniture, I'm like five to seven coats. So it gets a little shinier with each one. Um, and it definitely will probably get just a little bit shinier. And I did semi-gloss on here, okay? So this is this is the semi-gloss final coat that I used. Um, so I know it will gloss up a little bit more, but I love the sheen that it is because I didn't want anything looking like plastic shiny, okay? So it's really a great compliment to it. Um, hello, Lorraine. It's so good to see you. Um Oh, Joanne, I have wanted to use sunglasses also, okay. Um, I think you just, you know, you got to tape off your frames, and it would be really, really cool. We've got some great projects, okay. Uh, Desiree, the workshop is coming up April, I think, 7th, 8th, and 9th, okay. So as soon as we have everything ready, the group is ready, and the page to sign up is ready. We are going to be blasting about it, okay? It is going to be fabulous. Um, so, Delena, I have a pair of boots that I don't wear too much anymore because they're looking old. I'm almost definitely adding some foils to give them new life again. And, you know, you don't have to do animal print, okay? So, you could do a black uh, foil. You could do, a, you know, a color that's not, like, over the top. We have some foils that are more... I want to say satin or matte, so they're not as blingy. Um, so you don't have to go as crazy as me, okay? Oh, yes, Concita, you can do the foils on, on wood. The foils pretty much can adhere to anything, okay? From doing a tumbler to doing a golf cart, okay? A golf cart is one of our big projects this spring that we're going to be doing up the river. My girlfriend has a golf cart that has just seen its better days. Um, but it got fixed, okay? We had a golf cart guy come around, and we, we got a bunch of golf carts fixed, so we got our golf carts running again. Uh, but hers needs a paint job, so she decided she wanted pink leopard. So she is going to get a pink leopard golf cart this spring, okay? We got to do it before it gets too hot at the river. Uh, so we're hoping to do it over the next couple of months. Oh, I sure will, and I'm going to talk about the boots too, okay? Okay. Um, you guys, I'm having way too much fun with you, okay? <laughs> okay, so my boots were pleather. And um, I thought they were almost identical, okay? But they were definitely made, I think, by two different manufacturers. But even though they looked almost identical. One boot was mine, one boot was my daughter. Okay, she didn't wear them anymore, so I said, I'll take them. Um the first one, I didn't do any prep, okay? I went down foil adhesive right to it. I foiled, and everything worked really, really well. And it was a pleather, okay? It's not real leather. These were cheap boots, maybe 30 40 bucks, okay? So obviously really cheap boots. Um, and they've held up really well, okay? 
Um, I did the final coat, probably uh, low gloss on here, and um, they were fun. Okay, I said I was going to zoom in for you. Sorry. Here we go. Let's zoom. But when I got to the second boot, again, they're pleather. Okay, well, what I found was the foil ad adhesive can soak into the pleather and uh, basically uh, make it want to release. Okay, so before you do a, anything that is pleather and you know it's pleather, you guys, you want to go down with final coat first and seal that surface. And I would probably put a couple of coats on, two, maybe three, okay? We have another product here, our Bondego. Uh, I'm going to test out our Bondego Clear on one of my next projects because I want to, make sh I want to see if that will stay flexible enough to use the Bondego. Um, because it, it is, I don't want to say more durable, but it has really super great adhesion and it was a thicker product. So I'm thinking it might be a really good base for, um, for the um, pleather, okay? Um, okay, so Desiree says she also found a leather paint that is flexible. Okay, awesome, you guys. Um, Desiree, that's wonderful because Desiree has been doing a ton of shoes, okay? And that's what I love is when you guys uh, start doing projects and you share what has worked for you because that's going to help not just me, but it'll help anybody else um, that is trying to do a project. So this particular boot had a whole lot more of its base coat showing through because it was giving me problems, okay? Um, and I didn't realize that I was, I mean, this boot went so well that this boot, I couldn't believe that it gave me problems. So if you have pleather, you guys, seal it first. Go down with final coat, two or three layers first, okay? Like I said, they dry in like 10 minutes. The last layer, though, that you put on, I would probably let it dry an hour or two or better, okay? Make sure that there's zero moisture Every layer is dry, and you've got a really good base before putting on the foil adhesive. Um, and I also kind of like to let my foil adhesive sometimes dry longer than normal, but you could always do a quick test, okay? If you put your foil adhesive on your area, if you wanted to, like, mask and do different areas, um, you could always test an area after an hour and see how the transfer is going. If, it's, if one area is transferring well, go for the whole project. If you feel that it's not transferring as well, let the foil adhesive dry longer. Okay, so these were fun, okay? It's kind of crazy, but fun. Um, oh, no problem, Kathy. Thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate you being here. Okay, guys. Um, I want to say, I think, I think that's about it, okay? Um, Okay, let me scroll down. I think I missed a comment here. Oh, Faye says, my loafers turned out great and have worn so good. Posted on Foil Everything several months ago. Wonderful. It's so nice to hear that because um, everybody's always wanting to know how well they'll wear. If you, have you guys all seen on my page, the one I'm live on right now, a couple days ago I posted a leather um, chair that a customer did. And she did it with the Cheetah Gold foil. And it turned out unbelievable, okay? And all she did was clean the leather. She had some cracking. I think there was a tear that she repaired. And she just cleaned the leather. She put on our foil adhesive. She put on our foil. She used final coat. Everybody wants to know how well it's going to wear. And I'm thinking, I guess time will tell. Um, she said it was such an improvement from where it was that if it wears a little bit, you know, or she sees that it's wearing, she just can put the final coat back on again, okay? So it'll, I think it'll depend on how much the chair is used. But we're going to test one because um, my boyfriend found a leather chair, okay, just ugly little, like, I want to say like a kitchen chair. So I don't know if it's truly leather or if it's pleather, okay? Uh, we're going to find out. I'm going to bring it down here in a couple of weeks, and um, we're going to test it and see how well it works. Um... And I'm not sure we got really room for it, but we might put it in the office because we've got a really big chair in the office right now that's just too big, okay? So maybe we'll put the smaller chair in and um, won't take as much room. So thank you guys for hanging out. Um, I always, always appreciate you being here.